we are heading to our seventh investment property that is located in little river windsor canada and this property we purchased three months ago did a bunch of renovations so many issues came up fixed them all finally the property is ready it's rented for next month so thought i'll give you guys a tour and also give a detailed breakdown of the numbers because this is my another burr project successfully was able to pull most of my money out so stay tuned welcome guys so this is a two-story house that has three bedroom two baths and a nice finished basement i'm going to show you guys what are the things that i'm going to i have done in this house so to start with this nice new closet and a nice vinyl flooring actually that looks like a tile and come with me so you can see this is a bright open concept kitchen and living but before it there was a big wall there so i took the wall off we checked whether there is a load bearing or no thank god there was no load bearing so just we cleaned it up there was a popcorn ceiling before so we took the popcorn ceiling out and put a nice drywall and you can see nice pot lights and come on in this is my favorite part of the house nice granite countertop a nice big island you know they can have lunch dinner here very modern and common so if you notice i put some stainless steel appliances and exhaust that's very mandatory because you know nowadays people have a lot of things they cook that smell so this is very needed <laughs> and uh, the cabinets basic cabinets that i got from bmr that is located in windsor um, and you can see backsplashes that's something i didn't really like probably i'll change the color of the backsplashes in the next one but for now we do have that coming here this is my favorite one with the granite and a nice black color dual sink you know goes very well i know a lot of people love that and also i installed a dishwasher there was no dishwasher before so brand new dishwasher we had to do, hook up the plumbing for it and install nice lights before it was ugly lights and you can see this is also one of my favorite one got it for like 150 dollars on in home depot so now literally tenants tenants can have a sofa here or maybe here so far and watch TV there and watch what talk to their mom while cooking so and of course with the open concept they have a patio door where kids can go back and play so let's check out the second floor where I have all the bedrooms and bath this is the second floor if you guys noticed in the previous video same flooring I didn't touch the flooring even flooring under the stairs I didn't do anything I just installed this black rubber so that they don't fall off of it so same thing I just painted the doors that's it here very minimal things here and you can see another new light another thing if you guys notice I installed some nice door handles pretty cute one before it was like ugly old color and also I put some nice uh, splitter for the flooring and come here my favorite another second favorite one which is washroom nice flooring it's actually vinyl that is water resistant uh, but looks like nice style new toilet water efficiency to uh, like high and low and a nice vanity from Home Depot or Lowe's I don't remember exactly nice gray color going well with the flooring and new light fixture new mirror if you come here 
in the washroom actually i didn't change the tub i kept the tub because it was nice and clean i just cleaned it up that's all and painted throughout the house exhaust fan of course that's mandatory i installed a new one because you know that prevents the mold in the house and same thing throughout change the door handle one more thing that i have done in the bedroom little things but uh before this room and the other bedroom did not had lights so i installed a light very basic one two package 20 dollars of course electrician need to come and fish the new wiring did that so and here kept the flooring we come in we kept the doors as well we didn't do anything we just cleaned them up painted on the top just kept has this so try to avoid doing renovations that not really necessary like the flooring this flooring can go for another couple of years and one more thing that we have done here final one before there was an ugly fan so now as this nice probably the light switch oops did it turn off no yeah here you go here you go this is my favorite one and if you noticed throughout the house it's nice gray color one unique color everywhere light makes the house very bright okay so pretty much if you noticed on the main on the second floor i did very very minimal work come in and the third bedroom same thing i used i just installed the light and did do nothing Let's go into the bathroom. Uh, basement. <laughs> so, basement to start with, I painted the stairs. You see nice just a flashy paint and uh, vinyl flooring throughout the basement. So, we had to do some really I, I made a decision whether to keep the basement has this or I, I had to do the whole drywall work so after looking at you know the throughout the house I thought you know what I want to make it nicer so took that ugly ceiling that we had before and I put a nice drywall again in the basement and the pot lights just place looks nice and bright so for the doors didn't do anything just get the same doors you will see a thing here look at this so I, I didn't even paint inside because it was already taking too much time and too much money but again this is in the basement so it's it's too much details so i thought i'll leave it there there is a lot of closet room here closet there closet there so the, the tenants got a lot of storage and along with the storage here's another cute little thing that my contractor did a sliding door for the laundry room and washroom nice cute little laundry so let's go check out here the laundry room come in so here's the laundry of course we didn't do anything we just painted this closet electrical panels and brand new washroom brand new we ripped up the whole washroom put a nice tile shower probably they can put their rod here for the shower and a nice vanity a cute little mirror with a nice modern light fixture the whole washroom is fully updated along with the exhaust fan so one thing the basements in this area doesn't have windows so this is mandatory or else you know it will there will be a mold in the basement if there is no exhaust fan so yeah that's so that's pretty much the end of the tour let's talk about the numbers i know i know you you're waiting for the numbers <laughs> so 
Uh, first of all, I purchased this property for all including the closing cost uh, and my real fee and everything together, 200,000. 200,000 was my purchase price. Um, I put in 20% down. I got the mortgage with CABC. So 20% of the 20,000, which is 40,000 cash from my pocket. And initially I was, um, like I, I, I was expecting to do all the renovations within 30,000. Yes, um, for brand new kitchen, two washrooms, flooring throughout the house, all this electrical work and some plumbing work, um, probably and drywall work in the basement and in the main floor painting, all this work, I was expecting to do it within 30,000. But some unexpected things came up, some water issues I'll show you outside. So I was not really expecting to do any exterior work, but stupid thing is here, there was a seepage. There was a water seeping into the, um, the, the basement from here. So it, it just started to smell bad. So I said, I asked my contractor, what's the economical solution? So he said, first of all, we have to dig it. So we dig the whole thing, probably like two feet, two and a half feet. And then we put a blue sheet and we, we put a, you see a small plastic here. So we put a plastic sheet, blue sheet, and then a big O that is running, you might see here. So all this trench. So the weeping tile, they call a black color weeping tile that ran through the basement to the ex like outward of the house. So if there is any water fallen, it just goes off to the, um, off the house. So that protects the basement. So we had to do it. I, I, I had no choice, but we tried our best to um, do it economically. So with that, my prediction went wrong. I spent $42,850. Yes, that's right. So I purchased for 200,000 200, plus I spent another $42,800. So yes, I spent a little bit more than, but when I'm spending, I know because as a realtor, I know what's the market value, like what's the after repair value in this area. So I did some, pull some comparables, I'm doing the top notch in this area so it should go with the highest sale price in the area so that's exactly I sent the comparables to my mortgage broker it took me three months to finish all the renovations and once generally the CABC they do refinance without any penalty after three months so that's a perfect time so it took me three months to finish and uh, to lease out so once I have the new lease um, even though the tenant moving in next, next month, the CABC agreed to do the refinance. So they did the appraisal. Of course, as I expected, the property value came up for 300,000. Yes, 300,000. So 80% loan to value of 300,000, the new value, they lend me on that one, which is 240,000. 240,000 is the money that they gave me as a new mortgage. So, do your numbers. I purchased for 200, spent $42,850. So, I left with $2,850 in the project. Probably, I did my math, If with the cash flow, probably I'm gonna pull out by end of this year. So, it's a successful project, successful board strategy. That's why I'm so happy, even though, you know, that the issues came up and I, I, I uh, put in some extra money into it uh, which I was not intended to I was always cautious when I'm you know when my contractor bring up everything's oh do we do this do we do that do we do this like literally just this granite countertop costed me four thousand dollars four thousand dollars so I wanted to do the expensive countertop but I cut the cost on the cabinets because um, Home Depot has the same cabinets for four thousand dollars and BMR got me, I don't know how difference in the quality, but they're also pretty good quality, got for $1,800. So I cut the cost of the cabinets and spent on the countertop because I, I, I definitely feel countertop attracts more good quality tenants. And also if I wanna sell, obviously, you know, it, it, it just stands out. Same thing with the, you know, electrical work, the spotlights. Um, 
my contractor initially like we were just wanted to do some just a basic light fixtures in the basement but because we already did the drywall if i just put the putting the pot lights on top of the drywall it's easy because we already took the drywall out so it's probably extra 100 200 dollars but i had to do that because that makes the property feel so good and also when the appraisal came in he was like oh this is the nicest property i have seen in this area so they were happy with it they were happy with the renovations so obviously i got the value so that's the story of my birth strategy and let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment below and if you really like this video if you like the content that you hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment share about your thoughts on this project share, uh, if you have any questions i'm more than happy to help and don't forget to share with your friends who are looking to do a birth strategy and we'll see you in the next video